cabinet has approved the establishment of a team to conduct negotiations with major energy giants Shell and BP. Minister in the office of the Prime Minister Stuart Young made the announcement during Thursday's post-cabinet media briefing. The team will be led by Energy Minister Franklin Khan and aims to increase the revenue Trinidad and Tobago retains from its oil and gas resource. Janine Brown reports. Government has been quite vocal in the past about international companies yielding billion-dollar profits from this country's oil and gas resource, while Trinidad and Tobago itself continues to experience financial difficulties. This is the premise upon which Cabinet established an eight-member team to negotiate with the two largest upstream suppliers of Shell and BP to work out how best this country can start earning more from its energy sector. The team will also include international expert companies White and & Case and Porton & Partners. At Thursday's post-Cabinet media briefing, Minister Young explained how the process will work. Including fiscal measures, extensions of production sharing contracts, ENP licenses, but most importantly discussions surrounding the increasing or the bettering of revenue to the people of Trinidad and Tobago for our gas and the Atlantic trains. It's a position which critics have said would drive international companies away from investing in this country. However, Minister Young said that the response from these companies have actually been the direct opposite. Neither BP and Shell have indicated any negativity or any defensiveness or any lack of willingness to sit at the table with the government of Trinidad and Tobago and have these discussions. It's been quite the opposite. They've put forward proposals. Those proposals are being analyzed. Minister Young was asked about the time frame for the negotiations. We want them concluded in as short a time frame as possible, but we acknowledge that it may take some time, at least periods of months, to get it concluded. One of the conversations we had at that time in London is can we find interim measures that are mutually agreeable to the government and to these entities? He said both companies have already submitted proposals as to how the revenue can be more evenly shared. Janine Brown, C News.